So Regina has a seven month mission ahead. We are starting op projection uh, with uh, going into the Indo-Asia Pacific region. We're then uh, going into another mission called Operation Artemis, which is in the Middle East, uh, where we have a Canadian staff in Bahrain working under uh, combined maritime force. Uh, and that will be mainly a counter-narcotic, counter-terrorism mission uh, before we come back through op projection uh, through the Indo-Asia Pacific on our way home. So a seven month trip uh, with two major missions, uh, two major operations that we're a part of. Asterix is a uh, replenishment ship, so uh, during this mission my main uh, focus will be making sure that Regina is properly supported. We can refuel her with uh, fuel for her ship and for her heel. We also have uh, food stores, parts, ammunition in order to restore her uh, if she needs it. We also have a pretty advanced medical facility compared to what they have. We have an x-ray machine, uh, ultrasound, uh, we actually have a doctor on board as well. We also have a dental clinic. Uh, as well, so with a dentist and a dental technician on board, uh, so that if there are any uh, issues that arrive, arise on Regina, uh, they, we can just bring that sailor over and uh, take care of them. It's going to be a great trip in terms of new capabilities for the Canadian Navy. Between the you know, CH-148, first time on the West Coast ship. All clear. And for NTOC, uh, to be able to operate off a West Coast ship in Operation Artemis, which is an active boarding mission at sea in the Arabian Sea. That's going to be a great thing for the Naval Tactical Operator Group. And uh, as well, we're going to be working with the Naval Security Team, reservists who are going to be coming to Dubai and helping us through this, the force protection concerns in the middle of our deployment. So a lot of new capabilities for the Navy are coming to bear, including the CH-148 Cyclone for this. And I think that's really kind of very cool for the ship's company to be excited about. So it's kind of mixed emotions. They have to, you know, do what they have to do to work and support our family and support our country. And we have to support them by showing up here. And even though it's sad, we got to do it. Uh, the Military Resource Family Center has some really good supports. So we're really happy to have them along to help us during this um, deployment. 